Welcome, one and all, welcome to the penul penultimate episode of the Six Flag Show. What's that, man? It's like the episode before the season finale, where stuff is supposed wow. to happen. What's today's topic? Uh, cheap things Six Flags nice. could add. Can do to, to make the, the experience better. We've done these before. Uh, we have done several, like, Six things that Six Flags can do better or cheap ways to fix up the park. Now, we've been watching every Friday on social media. They've been posting all kinds of painting the rides, repurposing railings and replacing roofs and, and the ground and buildings and everything. They've done a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. It's kind of exciting. I'm kind of enjoying them. Nothing really major like any new like ride announcements or any progress on the Joker ride. But they have been painting the old uh, Buccaneer swinging ship. I wonder what they're going to name that. Think they'll, you think they'll call it the Buccaneer again? That was what it was called way back in the olden times before DC. So I was looking and I got a message the other day on the Facebooks stating that Kentucky Kingdom, our beloved Kentucky Kingdom, is getting a Christmas, a Holiday in the Park-esque event where they're going to have like snow tubing. They're going to build some contraption where you can snow tube and all kinds of Christmas stuff. Now, if they can do it, it's okay with Wow, it. I have bored you to death because you are yawning. <laughs> Are you in frame here? Why are we always a little bit off? Oh Lord. Okay, is that better? Um, if they can do it, why can't our Six Flags do it? They have the same, basically the same temperature that time of year, the same climate. Yeah. A little kind of tinier park, Kentucky Kingdom, which I would compare with Six Flags. If they can do Christmas, why can't we do Christmas? And don't say it's because they're not making any money. Before the pandemic, in 2019, 2018, those, that park was pretty busy for Holiday in the Park. I remember, because I remember going, and the crowd was crazy. COVID, are you still yawning? Yeah. Sorry, it's... Wow. It's been a long day. We have put... <laughs> we're, we're putting our audience... We're not only putting our audience to sleep, we're putting our, our host to sleep. Co-host. Co-host. It's, it's been a long day. Yeah, but anyway... That's what I was kind of, that made me mad when I saw Kentucky Kingdom was doing a Christmas and we can't get one back. Also, I did notice Six Flags has put in EV charging stations in the parking lot. Uh, is that, I guess it's, I guess that's the wave of the future. Yeah. Um, Electric cars. Yeah, I guess, will people use these? But I don't see that many. Yeah. I feel like most people still have gas. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're forward thinking and, you know, who yeah. knows. Sorry, I don't wow. know why I'm yawning it's, so much. It's literally the middle of the day and we've done nothing, so I don't know why you're tired. <laughs> so, but anyway, what do you guys think about the EV charging stations? Heaven forbid we uh, repurpose the parking lot and put some new asphalt down, concrete or anything, because that parking lot is rough. Especially the one side. But at least they're doing something. Maybe they are replacing the parking lot. I don't know. They haven't shown any pictures of that. But well, let's get on to today's topic. That's what you're all here waiting to see. If we still have any of our viewers left. Now, you weren't here last week, Caleb. I wasn't. What are you doing? Did you see the special guest we had? Uh, I did. Are you a little upset that I... I had him on and didn't tell you. Yeah, yeah. I got a call from Caleb right after that video was posted, yeah. and he's like, what? Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what I said. I had the tribal chief on, Roman Reigns, and yeah. uh, I didn't let you know. I'm sorry. But I, I wanted to get a video out, and you weren't over here, so yeah, I, I had to do something. So I, I called up the tribal chief, and he agreed to come on. Unfortunately, that did not move the needle, and uh, the ratings were worse than ever. I believe it might have been our lowest watch time in Six Flags show history. Hmm. Hmm. So, so we didn't get us so, WrestleMania tickets? No, so I don't know if uh, Roman will be back ever. Oh. 
Like ever? Like ever. Oh. Like Taylor Swift. Like ever. Okay. Six things that Six Flags can do to kind of boost morale. Oh my God. We are still yawning. I, I, it's like every time I open my mouth. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I, I can't help it. Okay. So I wrote down, I scratched down six things here. The first one, this isn't really, I don't, I don't know how this. What? Um, anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Right now, the parking fee is absolutely ridiculous. $35, yeah, $35. 45 for preferred, at least that's what it was at the end of last season. I assume yeah. it hasn't changed. That is a complete negative. It's ridiculous. If I were coming here once, I'd be like, never again. Yeah, 35 is so hot. So my, my first thing is to get uh, better attendance. I think they need to lower that back down to 25. 25 is a fair number. 20 or $25, I think, is more than fair. 35 is just absolutely absurd. I think, I think 20 is still expensive. Well, it is. Parking. It's really expensive. I feel like it should be like 15 Holiday hours. World, it's free. Yeah. You know, Silver Dollar City, free. I can't remember what, like, Worlds of Fun and, uh, like, Kentucky Kingdom and Great and America. It's like, but they're and, not $35. And it's not like it, you have to walk a while. Like, no, like for Silver Dollar City, it's free, but you also have to walk a while. Yeah. But, I don't know. So, number six, let's reduce the parking fee. That won't cost you any money. I think in the long run, you'll get more people paying 25 then less people paying 35 do the analytics i don't know but ridiculous six flags yeah. 35 dollars is ridiculous okay number two thing we can do or six flags can do to make things a little better are let's bring back the snacks with the meal plan now I was a little confused. I was looking at the meal plan and I didn't see an option for one meal. Because last year, well, they, they've changed this meal plan like 30 different times. They got rid of it, then they brought it back and it was like ludicrously expensive. Then they had like a four meal deal. And then, then last year it was like, you could either get a one meal or a two meal, but you have to get the second meal three hours after the first, I don't know, it's, it's insane. They need to at least give an option to do a meal and a snack. So when I was looking, it was one twenty nine for the two meal, which I don't think is a horrible deal. But what happened? I guess there is no more one meal. Is that gone now? And there's no option for a snack. So I think they should include either a, a snack in that two meal deal and you don't have to get the snack after three hours I, I don't know i'm just i want a snack i want the ice cream back yeah or the pretzel or something yeah we need a snack i understand why they do the three hour thing because they don't want people like us just to buy one and then get the two meals right away they want you to get it for two different people but come on six flags let's get let's eliminate that three hour rule and let's just do you can get two meals yeah i don't know what do you guys think is that too much to ask? We need a meal and a snack. Okay, this is another cheap thing Six Flags can do to make things a little better. Won't cost a lot of money. I mean, this will, this will cost a little bit of money. Yeah, well, a little bit, because they're gonna have to reconfigure some things. And I know when they built this park, Flash Pass, Fast Pass, Express Pass, Passy Pass was not even a thing in anyone's mind. So some of these rides are really old. And the queue lines are really old. But I hate the way they do the flash pass. Because, and this is basically, especially for roller coasters, I hate the way you have to go into the exit and then they let you in and you kind of screw over somebody waiting for the next train. So like, you know, like if a group of people, like six people go and they try to do it where it's like two, two and two and they're like, okay, let's do the math and make sure we're all on the same train. Well then some flash pass person can come slip in from the exit and then just pick whatever row they want to sit in and then now it screws up everything with those people waiting and then I feel like everyone's like looking at you mad. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. They need to merge in the flash pass line right at the entrance to where you get on into the 
you know, the cute for the oh, yeah. to the right. Yeah. That's how like Disney does it and like Universal does it. They don't coin Yeah, they merge into lines. They merge together and then go out. Yeah. It, they don't come in like a back way. And I know the Six Flags does that because they don't have an extra line. Like that's just the way they are doing it. But I think they should try to at least for the roller coasters build something where they don't have to go through the exit. What do you think? Yeah. Because I, I, I feel weird going in a flash pass and coming in the back and, and then people are just looking at you because you just stole their spot. I hate that. I hate it. Maybe it's me. Okay, whatever. All right, number four. This one I have talked about. We actually did a video on the Six Flags show. I think it was either last year or the year before where we were talking about the worst queue lines to get stuck in. Do you remember that? I don't oh, know. Yeah. I barely remember it. I don't remember what I did yesterday. But I think they need, especially for like the boss, Thunder River, Supergirl, like all these outdoor lines, they need to put up some umbrellas or some kind of shade, pergola. I don't care what oh, they yeah. do. What was that one ride at SeaWorld? Where like no, it was half. Horrible. It was like the new ride. Yeah, it was the uh, surf coaster where it was out, you know, it's 100 degrees, it's outdoors, and they did have umbrellas here and but there. But it was only in scattered. It was it scattered, and at least that was better than nothing. Nothing, yeah. But Six Flags on, especially like the boss, if you're stuck out on that, which it's never a cue, but sometimes it is. Uh, I mean, it is just, you're just baking. And then the new ride, the Rookie Racer, it's all outdoors in the heat. There's nothing covering you. There's like no fans or anything. Like they got to do something with that because that's miserable. Miserable. Yeah. Okay. I've gone on longer. Anything else to add to that? Okay. All right. This one is a little controversial, I think, too. But way back in the day, people used to bring like picnic lunches and they just leave them in their car. And then it, when it was time to eat, they'd go out and they'd put out like a blanket and eat their their picnic because they would have lots of trees in like the medians of the parking lot. And you'd always see a whole bunch of people out there with blankets and coolers and lawn chairs and eating their food. Well, over the years, <laughs> they've kind of eliminated all that. Like they've made it the most uncomfortable areas you could possibly have. There's very few trees left. The ground is horrible. S people still do it. Like, you still see it a little bit. But for the most part, it's gone. You don't see many people out there eating. They've, you know, there's a little area right there past the park of pet yeah. where it used to be like a little park where they, there was like a path around like a little mini pond. And that's all just grown to hell. Like, no one goes over there. So my solution was to allow people to bring in their own food and drink, mm -hmm. like you can do it at Disney World. Oh, oh, well, yeah. You just can't bring any glass, you can't bring any big coolers, but you can bring in small, like, non-heart, what do they call them that you bring yeah. up, like for lunch? Little coolers. Lunch bags. Lunch bags, you know, food, bottled. Or lunch box. Yeah, bottled water, stuff like that. And open up the picnic areas over where oh, they- Oh, yeah. They don't use them. Yeah, they they, we, they they run them out to corporations for whatever, but they're never in use. Yeah, we were back there ever. one time for like Easter, right? Yeah, they're they're never in use. I mean, maybe a couple. I've never seen anybody over there. Was there wasn't there some like Easter egg? Yeah, they did an Easter egg hunt there one time, and they they've done a few things here and there in there, but they're never in use. Why not open those up to allow people to kind of get away? eat their lunches, you can put lockers back there, make some money if people wanna store their food, or have a little concession stand there if people need to get a drink or a pudding cup or whatever. So I think more people would be, because the, 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 um, the meal prices are out of control. Yeah. They're higher than anything I've ever seen. You know, to get like a hamburger is like $20, it's, it's I don't understand what's going on with the prices. I understand inflation. I understand it's a theme park, amusement park. Prices are high. They are not as that high in many of the places. Like Silver Dollar City was not even close to being that expensive. Even Walt Disney World, I wasn't paying the same price that I'm paying at Six Flags. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Allow people to bring in some food. I know they don't want to, 
I know they want to sell their own food, but people aren't going to buy it. And they're just going to leave and go to Taco Bell or Lion's Choice down the street or McDonald's, and then they might not return. So let's keep them in the park. Good idea? Yeah. Okay. The last one, number six, which will help boost attendance, I think. They have all this land. They have a whole parking lot side that they rarely ever use, ever. Why not do some, why not make it some kind of area where they can put asphalt down or whatever and they can do like basketball tournaments, three on three. They can do gaga ball tournaments. They can do tent pickleball, volley, beach volleyball. They can build a whole little area over there. What do you think? Is this um, a, I think you'll, to bring in people, bring in people. Yeah. Make it more of an event. Yeah. They can somehow connect it with the park. So, you know, people come and then they can play three on three. I mean, they sell these stupid basketballs. Oh, they yeah. can play three on three basketball. They can, you know, do whatever. Um, it's interesting. Interesting idea. I'm giving you this for free, Six Flags. I'm not in charge of marketing or event planning. But you got all this land over there they don't use. So well, let's use it for something and try to bring in a, a sector of people that don't normally come. You know, you can have events like pickleball tournaments, basketball tournaments. Like I'm talking about a little smaller, like volleyball, beach volleyball, stuff like that. Yeah. Would you think they would bring in people? Or this is this ridiculous? So it's it's a little. It's a little out there. It's a little out there, but you know, I mean, they get more people and you need to try stuff. Well, they're not going to do it, but well, yeah, we're just we're uh, we're we're uh, brainstorming ideas here on the Six Flags show. Have we rambled long enough? Uh, yeah. All right. Well, this is the second to last episode. There'll be one more this season. Will there be another season? I don't know. Every year I say no, and then we kind of come back. But this has been a shortened season. Six Flags is opening up very soon. Will you be there for opening uh, day? My Good Friday? My, my off school. We've, we've already talked about this on the Six Flags show. You were off because it's spring break. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's Good Friday. I'll be there. Uh, you will, okay. We'll be looking for you, Midwest Fun Page. Anyway. With that being said, I guess this has been another show. Stay tuned for the finale next time. Did I say that weird finale? Finale? It's finale. You said finale. Finale. But we'll see you next time. May the adventure continue. I like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Bye.